Stuck at home? Let's do science. Microscopes are very important in the world of science, and here at the California Science Center, it's no different. There are a few places here that use microscopes. I want to show you how to use them, but you have to do it through my eyes. Whoa, that's so cool. Now you can see what I see. I know somewhere we can go. Morgan? Oh, hey. What are you looking at? I see you're using a microscope. Um, I'm looking under the microscope at a red rock shrimp right now. Um, usually you can actually see it with your naked eye even though they're tiny, but blowing it up under a microscope I can see what stage of life it is. And actually there's a couple of little brine shrimp in here too. And we grow brine shrimp here at the California Science Center to feed to some of our other animals, including the red rock shrimp. Do you want to come take a look? Sure. Ooh, I can see the brine shrimp on the left. Whoa, and the rock shrimp on the right. That was awesome. I wonder if we have some microscopes behind the scenes. I know. I'll ask my friend Viani. Hi, Viani. Hi, how's it going? How do you use microscopes here at the Science Center? So here um, at the California Science Center, we use scopes to look at invertebrates, such as this best bug that I have here. And so what we'll do is during their annual exam or whenever when there's a health concern, we'll bring them into the vet clinic and look at them under the scope. So we'll look at their antennas, make sure that they're um, uh, fully grown and that there's no appendages missing. I want to make sure that their limbs are fully grown as well, make sure they don't have any um, segments missing. And we'll also look at the space underneath their appendages to make sure that there's no a heavy load of mites, um, which could be communal but can also be detrimental. So we want to make sure that the mite load is manageable and that it's good for the species. Do you mind if I take a look? Not at all. Come take a look. Thank you. It's a little tricky to see. Whoa! Those yellow things are mites? Yes, it is. Cool! Thanks, Viani. I think I saw our vet lab as I passed to talk to Viani. Let's go take a look. This looks awesome. Oh, hi Kim. Oh, hi Monica. I've been wondering, how do you use the microscopes? We use our microscopes for a lot of things. The veterinary department here at the California Science Center has six microscopes. Two of those are dissecting scopes that look at very large things. And four of them are compound scopes like this one here. And they look at very, very tiny things, such as bacteria, which cause infections, and parasites, which can make the animal sick, and inflammation, where their body reacts to different things that are attacking it. That's so interesting. Oh, hey, would you like to take a look? Sure. This looks like a sea cucumber. Is this a parasite? Yes, it is. Thank you so much for letting me see this, Kim. You're welcome. See you later. Bye. Bye. That was cool. Check out this scientist making her own microscope. Hi, scientists. Join me today to make a microscope. You can use a plastic baggie, ceram wrap, a cup, or a container. Make sure it has a hole. Make sure an adult puts it so you don't get cut and water, and a rubber band. Then get your little toys, or rocks, or twigs, or leaves, and look at them. Look at them with your microscope and see what you can find. Bye, have a good day. This has been really fun, but I think it's time for us to switch back. That was awesome! Hope you scientists are feeling a little less stuck at home. See you next time! Be sure to visit our website Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. for more stuck-at-home science activities.